step two, what happens next? Of course, the well ground dates, the clean shaved look that men sport, the neatly coloured nails that women show off, the well ironed dresses, and the hint of must but not so strong. We have something similar at Toastmasters. The prepared speeches. So, shall we call our first speaker? Yes. Yes. Before I call the first speaker, I would like to call the evaluator to state the objective. Joy of 
sir is absolutely right. India has progressed tremendously in the field of education. In 2009, India passed a law which made education free for all children from the ages of 9 to 15. But what is the quality of the education that we are providing our children? What are we giving them? Sir Ken Robinson, a well-known educationist and researcher, has described our education system as a fast food model of education. We have sliced, diced, standardized our education so much that we started treating our children like chicken placed in poultry farms. So how do you work in this model system? How do you work through this impediment and give us children a good education? I believe the answer lies with teachers. Teachers like Professor Ganesh. Every year, he teaches close to 120 students, yet he remembers the name of every single student. He's been teaching architecture for close to 20 years. But his passion and his enthusiasm for the subject remain current and strong. He's one of the very few teachers I have seen who posts all his lectures on Facebook and other social media platforms for all his students to see. And every year he motivates his students. He fills them with a passion to do better and be better. That is how we work through our process. What you do which will make a difference. In the words of Professor Ganesh Pandey, we need to be our children that they truly deserve. They deserve the joy of learning. We need to motivate them and fill them with this joy of learning, joy of working, joy of exploring, joy of excelling. I believe that this small change will lead to a giant leap in the way we educate our future generations. Thank you. Let us not allow speakers to speak well. The fear of the evaluators.